home is one of the most beautiful things. Our planet is home to each and every one of us. It's a place that should be kept clean, feel safe and welcoming. But that is not always the reality. According to the University of Southern Indiana's recycling research, the U.S. is the number one trash producing country in the world. This means that 5% of the world's population generate 40% of the world's waste. Plastic is cheap and easily accessible, but it is also the most common polluting material with the highest environmental impact. The world is in serious need of our participation. Imagine this. The total amount of plastic ever produced is 8.3 billion tons. This is equivalent to 1 billion elephants, or 25,000 Empire State Buildings. If the question is, how can you reduce waste, the answer is simple. You can help by changing small habits in order to live a more sustainable and cleaner environment for you and those around you. Recycling plastics is an easy solution to problems like garbage piling up, landfills increasing in number, greenhouse gases increasing, fossil fuels diminishing, and natural resources disappearing. Small adjustments create a significant change. That is why we propose to you three adjustments for your daily life that can benefit the environment greatly. The first action is to reduce the use of plastic bags. Each year, an estimated 500 billion to 1 trillion plastic bags are consumed worldwide. That comes out to over 1 million per minute. Plastic bags are not biodegradable, taking hundreds of years to decompose. On average, we only recycle one plastic bag in every 200 we use. Recycling a ton of plastic bags saves about 11 barrels of oil. What we suggest is whenever you go grocery shopping, use reusable bags. You can purchase fabric produce bags or even opt to purchase loose items instead of packaged ones. These items vary from apples and tomatoes to spinach and cabbage. Our next suggestion is to purchase products with less packaging. It takes 500 or more years for a plastic bag to degrade in landfills. According to Clark's laying waste to waste, plastics don't break down completely, but instead they photodegrade, becoming toxic microplastics that pollute the environment. A lot of products are unnecessarily packaged and only 9% of plastics recycled are processed. What we suggest is switching from packaged goods to their own packaged form. Avoid buying fruits and vegetables that come pre-cut. You can also avoid buying bagged items like rice, pasta, and beans. Some stores even allow you to purchase these items by the bulk. The last thing we suggest is eliminating single-use plastics. According to Recycling Basics, humans buy about 1 million plastic bottles per minute total in the U.S. Out of those, only about 23% of plastic bottles are recycled. Americans purchase about 50 billion water bottles per year, averaging about 13 bottles per month for every person in the U.S. The constant use of plastic bottles creates a large quantity of waste in landfills and oceans. What we suggest is to minimize the amount of waste created by using reusable products. Using a reusable water bottle, you could save an average of 156 plastic bottles annually. There are more eco-friendly products that you can switch to in order to ensure a collective impact. You can start by limiting the amount of times you purchase things like coffee or food. Or the times that you do, make sure to bring your reusable utensils or straws. You can also change your personal hygiene products to contribute to the cost. You can switch to menstrual cups or biodegradable toothbrushes. just some of the ways you can contribute to reduce the amount of plastic polluting the earth. If we don't change your habits, trash will fill every corner of the earth. With recycling, plastics can have more than just one life, resulting in a cleaner home. Let's preserve our natural resources. Let's save our planet.